first of all I want to talk about a tip on using things around your house. So I've been trying to do that instead of buying new containers and things and what I found was I really needed somewhere for my tapes. Every time I looked around I couldn't find them they were or they were piled on top of my in the top of my IKEA tray and I just everything was everywhere and what I found in my house I knew I had this but it was on display in my craft room and it's actually an old industrial cotton reel or for a factory cotton reel not a little one for, for individual use but the ones they put on the machine so I've got a collection of these I really like them so I collect things that I like and I rescue old things and this particular one they go this is where they lock into the machines here but this particular one it doesn't have the other side I don't know why but it came like that and then I realized that surprise my tape all fit over the top now I do have some smaller ones but they are not big enough in terms of the center this is quite big but you don't want to be pushing things on and off and then they're not as tall and also when I got these things on here they wouldn't stand up so this has got a really broad base so this is some cloth tape and double-sided tape masking tape so I've repurposed that to now sit in the top of my IKEA trolley these are water reactive and I know that they come in a set this one's called color burst brights but I actually did get some others as well Pop those down for a minute so the colors that I got are not all on here it's a lizard and crimson they're pretty much standard watercolor or other paint colors um, and I know that they didn't have everything that I wanted so that's not in there Dallow green lemon yellow is there ultramarine blue so it's a standard color burnt umber is not there violet and fuchsia orange Chartreuse, oh sorry, orange is there, and turquoise and chartreuse. So I bought that as a set, and then I thought I'll just pick up a few others. And I really love burnt umber as well. And of course, you know, I can never have too many greens. And then I thought I'd better throw a bit of pink in there because there's nothing. There's a lizard in crimson. But there's nothing really pinky pink in there. And I haven't really touched them because. As I said in my last video, I haven't been well for uh, really four months. I did start to get a little bit better, but then after Christmas, it just whacked me on the head again. I know I did watch a YouTube video. It was a long time ago, a few, maybe six months ago. But I do know that there are different things you can do. You can either spray and then squeeze or color burst, or you can do it the other way around. So I'll just show you. They actually have a little fine tip and you can see then what happened. You just tap them and they come flying out. I wish I could just put my cutter down the side of that to try and flatten it out a bit. Yep. And of course I'll have to try one of my, oh this is ultramarine blue, it's really pretty though. Oh you can see, when you take it out, make sure you've got it over the top of something that was just the random luck for me because when you take it out the powder pops out it's it's a powder it's not a liquid and it really pops out so you need to be aware of that before you start madly pulling it things out and I like quite the randomness of that see that's only a little bit and then you just puff and you can squeeze it if you want but honestly you don't need to if you're just doing a random sort of thing like this and you can see that color coming in. Oh, I'll have to have some purple. Ah, there we are. Oh, look at that. Really amazing. Now, if you want it to do more, you can just put water on it and it will start to spread more. If you don't want it to spread more, don't put water on it or dry it quickly with a heat gun. And that's gonna dry it and stop the spreading. 
And the other thing you could do is take another piece and just put it over the top. I don't know, I'm just experimenting. I'm sure somebody will have some tips. Oh wow, look at that. Look at the face, can you see it? Looks like a man. Maybe it's a woman. She's got purple hair. <laughs> That's great. I'll keep that and dry it off and do something with that. A note to self, put the messy mat down before you start using them. And I'm mean, going to just want to do a bit of a bit of a sample. So this is the turquoise. And this is dry on dry. I'm sprinkling some around and a little goes a long way. So don't worry about that. Look at that turquoise in there. that with some water. <laughs> oh, how cool is that? I love it. This is my favourite burnt umber. Oh god, I've got that all over the place too. Oh dear, hopeless. I just got some on the edge of my mat. I'm just bringing it back over. actually see where the grains like there's a bit here where the grains haven't dispersed so it's very much like watercolor and I think really easy to create beautiful interesting backgrounds with it This is lemon yellow. It's very much of the, the green family. But I'll add some I'll add some purple. Also another favourite colour, particularly this shade of purple, which is called violet. Oh, there's a bit of blue in there. Must have had some blue somewhere. Okay, that's all for today. This is Deborah. I hope you enjoyed that and I will be back shortly.